Before starting today's topic, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you for watching our video and posting your queries. I am Dr. Puru Dhawan and today's topic is related to a question that was asked in the comment section. Someone inquired about the relationship between the increase of creatinine and uric acid level together. So first we would take a quick recap what is the work of our kidneys. Your kidney remove waste and eliminate the extra toxin from the body. Let me start with an example. When we eat food, our body produces waste material. Some of this waste material is eliminated through our bowel movement, while the rest is eliminated through urination. But one thing we need to consider here is, in our body, the food and the protein breaks down and it generates energy. But it also produces waste material. Similarly, when protein is used by our body, uric acid is produced as a byproduct. If we allow the accumulation of uric acid in our body, it begins to deposit in our small joint causing problems. You can observe this in patients who do not have impaired kidney function but have excessive uric acid buildup, which is known as gout. According to their reports, the level of creatinine are normal but the uric acid levels are high. As a result, the patient experiences severe pain in their small joint like fingers, toes, knees, and shoulders. In the case of kidney failure patient, the kidney are unable to filter waste properly, leading to its accumulation in the body. This accumulation manifests as an increase in the level of uric acid and urea, as well as creatinine. Now the question arises, is there only three waste material in our body? And the answer is no. There are numerous waste material in our body, Contrary to the belief that there are mainly three. However, we only test for creatinine, uric acid and urea because these three can cause various problems for our bodies. For example, when the level of urea in our body increases, it can lead to difficulty in eating as well as the person can feel nausea and dizziness. Similarly, if creatinine level increases, muscle cramp and weakness may occur. Additionally, if the level of uric acid rises, it can cause joint pain and the whole body ache. So, when we prescribe medication to a patient, the lab report helps a lot. These reports provide us with an idea of what has increased or decreased in the patient's body. If a certain factor has increased, we can understand how it relates to the patient's symptoms. Let us assume a patient who is experiencing body pain and has difficulty moving due to the pain. After reviewing the KFT report, the doctor discovers that the uric acid level has increased. Thus, the doctor prescribes medication to lower the uric acid level, which in turn helps the body to reduce the pain. However, this medication does not improve the patient's kidney function, which is still problematic. Nevertheless, the medication provides relief from the constant pain. This highlights the importance of three factors in the KFT report as they are interrelated. Finally, if these levels are increasing, it is important to consult a doctor immediately. Hopefully, this explanation has helped you to understand the relationship between the uric acid and creatinine. If you have any problem or query, feel free to contact us. Thank you. Till then, take care.